Good day guys and welcome back. Today we're installing Google Drive for backups in Home Assistant. Google Drive backups is a built-in feature in Home Assistant that allows you to securely store and manage backups of your smart home configuration, data and settings on Google Drive within the cloud. We'll talk through a install step-by-step -step and a step-by-step -step configuration and enabling Google Drive backups within Home Assistant making it a seamless and a hassle-free experience. We'll talk through doing a frequent backup, some of the configurations for scheduling, as well as major backups. So join us for this install. All right, let's crack into it. So let's go to our GitHub repository and in detailed instructions, we're gonna be copying this link. Next, what we need to do is add it into our add-on store as a custom repository. So let's go to Home Assistant, Settings, uh, Add-ons, Add-on Store, Custom Repository, and we'll be paste it in here and click Add. Now that is added. Let's close this and refresh the page. Let's scroll down to the bottom and we can see it's been added. Let's click on the integration. Let's click install. And let's give it a couple minutes to do its thing and we're back in a second. Now that it's been installed, let's enable watchdog so it will start up if it crashes. Let's do auto update and for ease of administration let's put into a sidebar and click start now that it's started let's open up the ui and do our initial configuration so as we can see we need to authenticate our google drive we'll be storing our data to by pasting in an authorization code so let's go ahead and left click on authenticate with Google Drive. It will open up your Google preferences and whichever one you want to connect it to. And click continue. Next, what we'll do is click copy on the authorization string Go back to our Home Assistant instance, scroll down, click on the hex box, hold down Control V, and click Save. And this is our initial, initial configuration. All right, let's go through and set up our backups. So what we're what we want to do is click on settings and scroll to the top. The first section talks about how often do we want to do a backup. So we want to hold, correction, how, how many copies do we want to hold? So within Home Assistant, I want to hold seven copies. And on Google Drive, seven copies. Which will mean when your eighth day is doing a backup, you will delete the oldest and it will save that base backup. So next let's scroll down and we're talking about the frequency. So I wanna keep a copy of every day automatically in both Home Assistant and the Google Drive. Next we can specify a day, a uh, correction at a time that we wanna do the backup where we are not using our system. So I'm going to do 1 a.m. and the format has to be in 24 hour time. If you want to put a password on it, you can put a password on it. As this is a pre prod, I'm not too fast. Next, we'll go through some of the notifications that will give you. Um, on a notification if it's failed, 
if there's not enough disk space. So we're going to keep that as default. And the rest of it can be ignored. Let's click on save. And next let's do a full backup. In the bottom right corner, click on backup now. And this is where you can do any new backup outside of your automated backups that we just created. So let's um, do a full backup to test it's working. So in the backup name, let's go full backup uh, October, November. Post Google Drive. I'm going to send it to Google Drive as well and keep a copy locally. Create backup. So we can see it's doing a full backup and it is uploading it to our drive. On the left side, we can see that there's one copy, the size of it, and on our Google Drive, it's one copy and the size of it. And it also tells the remaining. If we click on the drive, uh, on the backup, it will tell us what type of backup it is, what version of Home Assistant did we have, when it was backed up, as well as if we scroll down, some of the contents that we backed up. From here we can download this backup and put it onto a, another storage device. We can restore the snapshot in time because it is full backup. And or we can delete. So that is all we have time for today. Thank you for joining us. Let me know if this is something you already have implemented, is this something you will be implementing, and let me know what else you want to see in the future. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.